Hello. This video is to invite and enthuse you about my upcoming course, The Embryo in Us. I am Jaap van der Wal. Officially, I am PhD and MD, specialized in anatomy and embryology. In this course, however, you will meet me as an anatomist who has, so to say, overcome the anatomy by learning from the embryo a more holistic concept of organization of the human body that goes beyond structural anatomical thinking. My course is a functional morphology of the human body and mind. In the last few decades, a kind of tsunami of brain philosophy came over us, stating that we are just walking brains, and that it is the brain that rules, even produces, our mind. The embryo, however, will tell us that it's not the body that produces the mind, but it is the mind that rules, shapes, and organizes the body, including your brain. The whole body is mind, not just the brain. Our body also is not the sum of organs, as the anatomist always try to convince us of. That is an idea that apparently is a very practical and successful concept of medicine. I admit, and I agree with that. But the outcome of one's experiments or manipulative treatment does not prove that one's vision is right. This is at least an important clue that I learned from my scientific education and work. Human beings, like all living organisms, are not spatial constructs or machines. We are appearances in time. The body is a lifelong process of mind and body. That is what the embryo might teach you. We do not only have a mind, we are a mind. And this is what I mean with the embryo in us. The embryo is not a past, it is actuality the actuality of my living body. My body was not shaped first and next beginning to function. The embryo is not a not yet ready or incomplete being. Like 40 years ago, challenged by prenatal psychologists, again I nowadays notice that people more and more tend to consider the embryo as a brainless and therefore soulless inanimate phase of the human being. People do so while believing the supremacy of the brain as the organ that produces the soul or the mind. Andrew Taylor Still, the founding father of osteopathy, said, mind, man is mind, motion, matter. The interface between mind and body is motion. Our body is movement, is shaping. Our body is behavior in form. The body is a performance, literally, not a sum of anatomical parts and organs like Tom Myers and Stephen Levine, for example, enlarged the concept of anatomy to higher, complementary, and holistic concepts like architecture, anatomy trains, and biotensegrity. I invite you to join with me in that surge for spirit in the embryo. It actually is about saving our souls, SOS. It is the message that sinking ships are sending out, SOS. My course also is a wake-up call 
to save our soul from sinking, getting lost, becoming obscured in the ocean of scientific materialism in which we nowadays not only lose our soul but also the true reality of the body that we are, which is far more than the body that we have. Our body is not a thing, not only anatomical substrate. It is function, a performance in time. Like the philosopher Rumi said it in the 13th century, the body developed out of us, not we from it. We are bees and our body is a honeycomb. We made the body, cell by cell we made it. And I add to that, we are still maintaining our body. It is our mind that performs the body, not the reverse. In this quest of SOS that this course also is, you might also find answers to questions like, where do we come from? Do we really stem from a fertilized egg cell? Or are we from the very beginning on incarnation and realization? Do children come from us or through us? And your answer to who or what are we is immediately related to whom or what do I want to treat? A body or a person or a person? For people interested, I will also talk about fascia. Fascia as a domain of our innerness, where the soul is dwelling, Andrew Taylor still says. Enjoy in this course the return of self in a new morphology, human spirit coming into form.